Good evening, Spartans. It's Sunday, October 24th, 2021, and this is The Spear. I'm Don Lay. This is Esteban Lopez, the reporters for The Spear, and tonight we're going to be previewing San Jose State men's basketball upcoming 2021-2022 season. So Esteban, of course, I think the biggest news over the offseason was San Jose State got a new coach, Tim Miles. You want to uh, talk about your opinion of him? What do you think about him as a hire? And what do you think he could change for the program? Uh, yeah, I think he brings, you know, something fresh to the school. Um, as bef- uh, years past, you know, they haven't been the greatest, um, haven't had a winning season in a while. And um, he's just going to bring some experience to the program, especially going back to when he was, uh, he coached in Nebraska, the Cornhuskers, I believe. And they had a couple winning seasons and they even made in a final four appearance in like 2014 season. So I think he's with his experience, you know, playing in that type of environment. um, He can really bring a lot of change, hopefully to the school and hopefully get, you know, San Jose to playoffs. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Check out uh, this year's coverage on Miles press conference and our previous reporting about him because Jonathan Schaefer and uh, our previous editor, Jara Gajola, shout out to both of them. Uh, they wrote, already wrote stories about this and very informative. And yeah, Miles does have a winning record in uh, previous uh, hires in Nebraska. Like you said, in 2018, he had a 22 and 11 record with the, uh, with Nebraska and in, his next and last season with Nebraska, Miles led the Huskers to a 10 2 start in a top 25 ranking before injuries. But hey, man, he's like, our team needs more winning in general. So I think he's just a good uh, coach to lead the way for them to, the team to mature more and just have a winning culture. Don't you agree? I think he has like 399 wins. He's one yeah. away from 400. I would, right. That's what I was reading. That's a good stat. I'll make sure to right check here. the facts. Miles, that's, that, that'd be pretty impressive. Miles brings a 399 to 334. Uh, that's a 0.54, that's over 500 record. So, and a postseason record of four to eight <laughs> to the Spartans. As, but like, that's, that's according to Johnny's article on the Spear. And okay, like he has yeah. a winning record. Like that's all we need, realistically. And okay, so. Yeah, I mean, to get to do something, you yeah. know? <laughs> I agree. I agree. So that's probably the biggest news for the team. But actually, there is another big, another big news that we should talk about. But it's not a good thing that our point guard Richard Washington Jr. is suspended for the whole season, and oh, it was man. because what, what, were the details? what was that? What happened there? Let me explain. What was the it. details? What happened there? According to Mountain West Wire, it's a website that reports on just the Mountain West schools and colleges, and he got suspended for signing with a non-certified agent and also playing in a three-by-three event for profit. So the NCAA suspended him, and he was averaging uh, 19.5 points last season. Like He was a big point of our team, even though we were losing team like he was a shining star you know a little bit like he had stats so we had something to watch now he's out it's a big deal new coach and he's out our star players out like it's just all it's it's such a bad start to the season already you know but what do you think about that that he's suspended i actually have a quick question about when did he sign to play a three-on-three in indianapolis because i know that they had um they're allowing players to capitalize on name images and likenesses. So how come he got suspended? Did he do it before that they allowed that? Or was this still like in the That's guideline? So strange. No, they hit him with the fine or they hit him with the suspension S- September 21st, 2021. And I thought the ruling, that was the ruling was a little earlier than that. Wasn't it? Uh, I, got I can't. That. Yeah. Because I, I remember that they can start, you know, capitalizing on their own names. Unless this is falls in like the category where you can't do that. You know, you're repping the team and you're going out there playing a three on three. 
in Indianapolis. Hey man, or that's a like, that's a whole other conversation. Yeah. Man, like the 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 news of the NCAA uh, allowing players to make money off their name and their likeness that came out in July. So I and like that, that's why I think it's very controversial, and yeah. we're gonna be talking about it. And hopefully Washington can come back sooner rather than later. But, but he got hit with this in September, so he's done for the year. So obviously, yeah. big impact. What was he averaging a game like nineteen points, right? Nineteen point five points per game last season. That's, yeah, that's and for huge. a new coach, a new coach to come in, you know, with probably one of your star players gone. I mean, it's gonna be already hard enough for him to get the program rolling. It, and and top- also like. His whole plan since he got hired in April had Washington probably in the system. Yeah. You know? So yeah. now his whole five months went, it was a waste. Like it was just, he has to rethink the whole season now, like a month before we're supposed to play a game. You know, it's, it's rough. Like I, I would not want to eat 10 miles right now. Like it's, it's, it's I mean, he has a tough job right now. He does have a tough job, but when I was reading up on miles, it says that he went through a lot of like, he had success when teams, when he coached teams that had, you know, a lot of injury problems. So, I mean, if he can still, I mean, this is a little different, but your player is still gone. So you can like kind of chop it up like an injured player gone for the year. So we can still like, you know, make something out of that, you know, evaluate the talent he has right now and go from there. I mean, there's still a chance for something good to happen, you know? Okay. It's not all darkness yeah. right now for the team and if you want to stay positive we'll just wait until Washington gets back like if you want to stay positive and look at something yeah like it's not it's not Washington's fault like it's it's just it's just tragic it's just tragic like <laughs> uh, might be his fault might be his fault I don't know he <laughs> knows, anyway he probably yeah. knows yes so we're gonna wrap this up I'll just preview the games that are coming up since right now it's October 24th, the first exhibition game against Cal State East Bay will be Friday, November 5th at 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. at uh, San Jose, California, our uh, private and credit union event center. So you can show up to uh, that. Yeah. You gotta, and you gotta the check. first, what was that? We got to check that out. We got to go out. Of see what's see, have, see have some coverage. And <laughs> the first, this is a non-conference game, but it's the first regular season game against Cal State Fullerton is on Veterans Day, November 11th at 7 p.m. at San Jose, California, Property Credit Union Event Center. So okay. we are checking out. Glad you guys uh, came out and listened to us. I'm uh, Don Lake from the Spear. And I'm a Seven Lopez from the Spear. Appreciate you guys listening. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night.